Someone once told me, there are only two types of young people in this world. Those that are anxious to grow up, and those that are anxious about growing up. This guy's a new PhD graduate moving into his parents' bedroom. What do you think he is? Think about your own transition to adulthood. How would you describe it? Well, you might say the young adulthood is a developmental stage. It has mental health implications. Depression, anxiety, substance abuse. All of these tend to begin in the, in the late teens and early 20s. You might also say the young adult has tempted social expectations. Here in Canada, it might mean finishing school. It means getting a job and starting a career. But not everybody makes this transition in the same way or at the same time. Robert Hennig from the New York Times says this. Kids don't shuffle along in unison on the road to maturity. They slouch for it at an uneven and highly individual pace. But Robert's not quite right. It's true, the pressures of meeting social expectations can create mental health challenges or make existing ones worse. She's missing a key ingredient. Cultural and social factors can change the mental health implications of having a job or being jobless. My research looks at how mental health inequalities can come about in young adulthood as a result of the different ways in young adults engage the labor force. I contrast four different types of engagement. First, having a job. Second, having a job but looking for work. Third, oh, being jobless but looking for work. Third, being jobless but not looking for work. And fourth, being jobless but also a student. In this way, I hope to create a holistic picture of how young people engage with the labor force in Canada, but also how it impacts the perceived mental health and their likelihood for depression. I want to look at how this changes over time and across different places. Using the Canadian Community Health Survey, I found some interesting things. First, the type of joblessness matters. Jobless young people that are looking for work do worse than jobless young people that are not looking for work. Both of these groups are more likely to be depressed than students. Second, time and place are important. Changes in the economy and differences in the political context can make a difference not only to how young people engage with the labor force, but also how much their mental health is impacted by this engagement. This has important policy implications. If we accept that the mental health of young people is linked to this transition to adulthood, linked to this transition into the labor force, then we accept that there are more than two types of young people in this world. And we have an obligation to provide everyone with an equal chance for a good future. Thank you.